Day two of the Dr. Saman Kalagama Memorial Conference was held in Colombo today. Speaking at a panel discussion attended by both local and foreign experts in the field of economics, State Minister of National Policies and Economic Affairs Dr. Harsha De Silva commented on the state of corruption within the government of Sri Lanka. You know, you were worried about corruption and bribery in the country. That would be, that is actually the number one reason for dragging down competitiveness in our country. I wonder what happened to your effort and whether you pursued and did anything about that. That is, to me, one of the most, that are the biggest problems that we have. I mean, investors, you know, immaterial of what they want to, uh, you know, uh, invest in. You know, sometimes are asked to, to pay bribes, they have to, uh, sometimes it's not worth the investment because the amount of money that has to be given to various politicians and officials uh, would uh, amount to several years of profit. So therefore they go away. I mean, people don't talk about it openly, but corruption is here in this country from the top to the bottom. Uh, somebody was telling me it took those people three years to get permits to build a hotel in some, uh, you know, beautiful place somewhere on the coast. Why should it take three years to uh, get all the permits? So unless we, we sort of, you know, finish this cancer, and I don't know uh, whether we are, you know, going anywhere with it, at least it is now out in the open with the, the right to information uh, legislation. People have now got oh, so much of, uh, or they, have been, they are empowered, they can ask questions from politicians. This is a country where the Prime Minister can be asked to come and give evidence at a commission. Uh, this is a country now where ministers have lost their jobs because uh, of, of accusations of taking money from people. When did this happen in this country before? You see, you have to have that mindset. You know, you have an administrative service person and you ask that person to ensure delivery. You know, I was just complaining this morning that I'm trying to get my uh, ministry officials to pay for a plant. This, what do you call this, little plants, potted plants? Mm. <laughs> it, took one month, it took one month for them to find, procure three plotted plants. <laughs> and even after one month, they said they couldn't get three codes. So I called them, I said, go on the net, here on my phone, here is a list, why don't you, why don't you do it? Right, so, so, so... Quality of the plants must have been the best in the world. <laughs> no, now what has happened is, those plants have died. And I keep complaining, why don't you replace these plants? They said, no, we can't replace the plants because we haven't paid them. Why haven't you paid them? Because it was single sourced. I said, I didn't single source it. You single sourced it. I gave you three options. <laughs>